Okay, I guess old timers uh, know what this uh, infamous amplifier is. I have done a few before on these. Um, haven't done one recently, and I wasn't really planning to. But uh, Facebook again, somebody called me out on Facebook, and uh, they were looking for a transformer for one of these. Um, and by the way, if you don't know what that is, it's a Black Hat JB2000. Um, this one has been modded, but I had a guy on Facebook looking for a transformer, and I said, okay, um, use a toroid. And I even put a link of the toroid that I recommended for, you know, from eBay, like, here, here's a link, use this one. Uh, you know, trying to be helpful, you know, right? And the guy um, sent me a PM back. I hate when people send me personal messages like that, um, you know, first posted in public you know uh, what's personal about it but um, maybe it was personal to him but he sent me back uh, a, a text or PM whatever you call it thing I'm not up on the internet all that much but um, he sent it back and he said um, hey I, I, I sent that to my tech or you know sent that link to my tech and he said it wouldn't work um, and I said no of course it will and he said, no, you know, I didn't know what I was talking about. His text said, I didn't know what I was talking about. It wouldn't work. And then he asked me, have I specifically done, you know, put any toroids in a JB2000? And I'm like, no, but I've used toroids on everything else, you know, uh, uh, smaller amps as needed. Uh, Palomars, Brownings, uh, 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 shoot, did I put one in DNA? But I've used, you know, about four toroids in different amps you know with, with blown transformers you know you got to match the right voltage and if you're going to run the filament on it too you got to match all that up but they make you know 15 different models and the one for the JB2000 is the high voltage toroid the only one they make and that's what I recommended and he's like nope 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 I talked to my tech and he said it won't work and I'm like well you know and, and told me since I never done it before you know I, I didn't know what I was doing and I said something like, well, in that case, your tech's an idiot. And, of course, that guy went bonkers and, and, and called me all kind of names and and said, I know what I'm talking about and sent me some little, uh, uh, I don't know what they call it, dialogue conversation, you know, on on Facebook and in the, in the personal message. And uh, I didn't even know how to open it, you know. I didn't even care to open it because I didn't care what the guy said, you know, and and he's speaking for another tech, and obviously his tech don't know what he's talking about. But anyway, I felt that that was a challenge, even though I blocked that guy. Well, he actually said he's going to block me. He said, I'm going to block you, you know. And I was like, good. <laughs> and that's when he sent that uh, uh, that talking text that I never listened to. I'm like, oh, yeah, hurt my feelings. He blocked me. All right. Okay. Good. But anyway, um, uh, this is kind of for him, but it's not because... Um, Hopefully he's got me blocked and I don't care if he ever see it again, but um, if he got a tech and the tech, you know, really thought you can't use a toroid, you know, a high voltage toroid for the Black Hat 2000, why? Why would you think that? Here it is. Um, one thing, though, it would have been very hard to fit it in inside to make it a one piece. And I didn't feel like working that hard to move in. Um, you know some of the stuff around to get it to fit in there it would fit in there but I would have had to move you know quite a bit of stuff to do it and I didn't feel like working that hard again so anyway um, I had this chassis this was a Phantom 500 that somebody gave me basically just the uh, chassis only they had stripped everything else out of it and the chassis was very clean you know for the Phantom and I was like one day I ain't never gonna you know rebuild it into a Phantom that's too much work all the tubes and wiring and sockets and all that were gone out of it uh, not to mention the caps and your tune circuits everything gone you know not even a power cord so um, I was like hey you know the, the toroid which is that high voltage toroid transformer even though I could have made it fit in there I didn't want to work that hard especially to make a point and uh, I have other transformers that will fit in there I don't know if I'm going to lead this a two-piece like this or put in a uh, uh, another transformer by the way not for sale uh, 
But I made this to, because challenge accepted. You know, the guy said, yeah, it won't work, yada, yada, yada. Well, here it is. Toy Transformer, the same one that I uh, mentioned that was on eBay. I bought one, you know, brand new. Um, these things run about uh, 250 on eBay when they have them. Sometimes they sell out. But that's uh, got two 950 volt windings. You can put them in series um, for uh, 1900 volts in series. And you can put them in parallel at 950 you know and do what you need to do with the voltage if you go in series just use a bridge and uh, if you want to put them in parallel use a voltage doubler and the um, black cats originally used a voltage doubler but I don't like voltage doubler circuits they're weaker circuits um, so this one has been converted to a full way bridge and since I didn't want to run AC from the one piece to the over here, I would have had to make two high voltage AC lines. I put the um, rectifier over here, and that's the new rectifier. Um, you can see some surge resistors I put in there, or glitch resistors, um, in there, heavy duty diodes. And then um, that's the original uh, cap board, new caps, 500 volt caps, but the original cap board. And this doesn't have the right voltage to run the filament, um, which 500Zs run at what, 5 volt at uh, 30 amps or 15 amps each, I think. Um, so I, I put in a separate filament transformer, uh, changed the tune and load to some nice heavy duty ones, um, did a little bit of rewiring here, made everything short and nice and neat, I think, you know, no long runs. And this one is mono banded 10 meters only. It'll work on 10 uh, through 12 meters. Mono band, no band switch or nothing. And I did a few more mods, but um, I'll go through it in another video. In this video, I just wanted to show it with the uh, toroid working. That toroid at uh, in series 1900 volts. Going through the uh, rectifier and the caps, it puts out about uh, 2,700 volts for the power supply, which is not a lot for 3,500Zs. That will kill you and will zap you and don't do like I do, you know, leaving this thing on and uh, taking pictures and fooling around around it. But um, I am literally like a uh, foot and a half away from this thing. I don't get close. I zoom in with the camera and stuff, but I do not get close to this thing uh, 3000 volts or 2700 close enough to 3000 will jump up and kill you if you don't know what you're doing so don't do this at home but anyway challenge accepted I was just trying to make a point with this and uh, nice king clean JB2000 modded I got bias on it tune and load uh, AMSSB high voltage on to turn that on you know from here and then another switch over here to turn on the high voltage box driving it with this um, um, Mako 75 one tuber Mako 75 these things rock a lot of swing I'm not putting a whole ton of watts into this amp a uh, lot of swing this watt meter here is just showing what the uh, Mako 75 driver is doing 200 watt scale uh, the big amp is not on yet or I don't know if you call the JB2000 a big amp, but anyway, the final amp not on yet. And I'm just dead kin. Five watts. Audio, audio. Audio, audio. Um, swing of about 150 RMS going into it, so it's pretty much all swing going into this amp. And, uh,. Now we're going to key it up. By the way, we got this so it'll run on a foot switch or it's got a Nomad Auto Keyer in it. And there's another small micro switch on the back that turns the um, Auto Keyer on or off uh, for this thing. And uh, it's got an um, input tune and all that in the back. But we're not going to show that. We got it live. We're just going to show what it does with the... Um, Toy transformer that the guy's tech said that won't work. Um, so anyway, that's the drive, and then that's the uh, output going into a dummy load, 2kW scale going on average. Uh, 
Dick Keen about 30. That's the top scale 2000 watt scale there. But again, only about five going into it. Audio. Shh. Shh. to about 1200. And that's on average calibrated to a bird. So that's 1200 bird watts of swing, right? It's not peak. And then we're on peak. And it's during the day. It was doing a lot more late at night when my line voltage was higher. But anyway, that's neither here or there. Audio. 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 Shh. Jumped up about 1700 peak. Okay. You do it all day, you know, with swing going into it, not hitting it really hard. Uh, tubes aren't really getting hotter. Cherry in that um, great big toroid is running actually cool. Nothing getting hot. And again, this is what the uh, tech and the so-called experts said. Couldn't be done. You can't run a toroid on 500 Zs and you can't do that. Can't do this. And I'm like, yeah, okay. All right. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Right. Can't do it, can't do it, audio. Can't be done, can't be done, audio, 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 audio. Look at that, audio, audio. And that's the drive going into it, right? Audio, audio, audio. Drive, output, 2000 watt scale. Dummy load, no false watts. Audio, 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 audio. Audio. I think I killed a driver before I killed the um, before I killed the JB2000. All right, that's gonna be it for this. Only thing ain't working. I ain't did yet. It's the meter. But hey, I was in a hurry because the guy said it won't work. Won't work. Won't work. Won't work. Won't work. Won't work. And by the way, this is 110. I got a direct 110 line. They do a little more on 220. And like I said, it did a lot more late at night when my line voltage was up higher. Audio, 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 audio. It put that in the corner late at night. All right, on 110. That's it for this one. Bye.